Change. Change. You can decide. When you go home, you can decide to do a budget today. And get out of yellow pad or go free budget online, everydollar.com. You, you can decide today. I'm going to start managing money well. Today. today. Dave Ramsey, a person who has supported lots of people in escaping poverty and becoming very rich, is quite into gathering information. Now, you might wonder what information he's after. Well, I'm happy you asked, as I've looked into it myself and discovered some surprising facts. It appears that there are 25 things that people with less spend money on unnecessarily. Today, I want to tell you about these things so you can steer clear of spending on them and hopefully become prosperous. Number 1. Spur of the Moment Buys Does this ring a bell for you? Nowadays, spending money is quite simple, but regrettably, most of it is done using credit cards and money that's not even there. As Dave mentions, one of the traps for people with less money is spending money they don't actually possess on impulse buys. The good news is there's a simple way to dodge this. A great trick is to put things you think you want on hold for a bit. If you're thinking about buying those new shoes, give it at least a day and see if you still want them. Chances are the urge to buy will vanish and you'll save yourself $60. Number 2. Unused Gym Memberships Let's be honest, you got that gym membership with good intentions, but now you're losing money every month and those weights are untouched. Canceling a gym membership is as easy as getting one. So if you have memberships you're not using, go cancel them right away. Moving on to number three, fees for paying bills late. Did you realize that just paying bills late costs Americans an average of $577 every year? Imagine what you could do with that extra money. The good news is, it's easy to avoid this. Just set up automatic bill payments so you won't miss any bills. Most banks offer this service so you can start today and avoid those late fees. Remember what Dave says, your biggest asset is your paycheck. Now on to number 4, Branded Coffee. Many of you enjoy a good tasty cup of coffee in the morning, just like Dave Ramsey. It's hard to beat. But depending on where you buy your coffee, you might end up feeling more stressed and sad than satisfied. Why? Because coffee can be really pricey. The person with the Starbucks cup might seem well off, but they'll likely spend more than $5 on a cup of coffee that you can make at home for just a few cents. Don't follow their lead. Enjoy your coffee at home and save your money. Let's talk about number five, spending too much on eating out. Dave Ramsey nailed it when he said making a meal at home is cheaper than going to any restaurant. It doesn't mean you should stop eating out completely, but the key is not to spend more than necessary. Cooking might seem a bit overwhelming, especially if you're not used to it. But it's not only a fun hobby, it'll also significantly cut down on your food expenses, making it feel like you're earning double. You can easily find plenty of simple, quick recipes online with just a fast Google search. Now, on to number six, cigarettes and tobacco. Although the rate of tobacco use in the U.S. has dropped to 11%, some of you might still be a part of it. If you are, consider seeking help to quit because it's one of the most expensive habits and harmful to your health. It's common to spend a few hundred dollars a month just on cigarettes. Imagine if you put more than $200 a month into investments, growing at an 8% annual rate or the market average in 30 years, you could have over $300,000. Let that sink in. Let's discuss number seven, debt from credit cards with high interest rates. Dave Ramsey makes a strong comparison, calling credit cards the cigarettes of the financial world. And he's got a point. Debt, especially from credit cards, just keeps you trapped in a loop of payments that keep you from getting ahead. Breaking free from these chains is crucial. Pay off your credit card debts and steer clear of using them. If you don't have cash to buy something, then it's beyond your means. You can have fun with money, but lasting happiness doesn't come from spending. Next up is number eight, costly mobile phone plans. A phone plan has two parts, the plan itself and the phone. Following Dave Ramsey's advice, treating the payment for your phone through a contract plan as a debt is essential for financial freedom. Simply put, handle it like any other debt. If you're using the debt snowball method made famous by Dave Ramsey, focus on it as your next target and clear it as soon as possible. 
And now, number nine, branded clothing. Not many people pay attention to the brands of clothes you wear, and it's probably the same for you. Brand name clothing is pricey, and all clothes serve the same purpose, covering our bodies. So the only real difference when you wear branded clothes is an occasional compliment and a lot of money out of your pocket that could have been used more wisely. Moving on to number 10, extended warranties. Nowadays, more and more items come with regular and extended warranties. Many electronics fall into this group, but unfortunately, it's often just a way for a company to make extra money from you. Frequently, items with extended warranties already have their own warranties from the company. For instance, a laptop provider like Dell might have its own one-year warranty separate from the store where you purchased it. So, it's essential to do your research and avoid unnecessary extended warranties. Now, on to number 11, unused subscriptions. Dave Ramsey isn't a fan of anything going to waste, and it's for a good reason. In this era of massive consumerism, subscriptions have become one of those hidden fees. Almost everyone seems to have multiple subscriptions to various networks, and the problem is that you might end up spending more than you would on cable. The best way to manage this and spend less on subscriptions is to choose one network, stick with it, and rotate monthly. Number 12, excessive alcohol consumption. Just because it feels good for a day doesn't mean it's a wise choice. As Dave Ramsey points out, fun can be bought with money, but happiness cannot. While many people enjoy drinking as a pastime and for pleasure, it can become a financial issue. If you find yourself in this situation, try cutting your alcohol intake in half and see what a significant difference it can make. Let's look at number 13, excessive spending on vehicles. Sure, you might have the fanciest car in the neighborhood, but what's the real cost? According to Dave Ramsey, the biggest expense you can have is your vehicle. Ultimately, a car's job is to get you from one place to another. So if it's reliable and used, it'll make your life a whole lot easier. Now, on to number 14, fast fashion. It's named fast fashion for a reason. It disappears as quickly as it arrives, and that includes your money. You might be stylish with these trends, but it won't leave much in your bank account. Instead, look for clothing pieces that are timeless and classic, versatile enough to go with various new trends. Number 15, unused gym equipment. It's normal to catch a fitness bug and want to buy some workout gear. The issue arises when you use it for a week and then let it gather dust for years. Change your mindset. Instead of buying gear to motivate you to work out, invest in gear that complements the workouts you've been consistently doing. If you're already in the habit of working out, having gear might motivate you even more. Moving on to number 16, branded medications. When Dave Ramsey advises to live on rice and beans, he generally means choosing the most affordable option to get your finances in order. This advice doesn't only apply to food. When purchasing medication, opt for generic medications, as non-generic ones can be quite expensive while providing the same results. Next up is number 17, unused gift cards. It's money that you've worked hard for. If you have gift cards lying around, consider using them as gifts for others or treat yourself. You might as well make the most of them and buy a gift at a discounted price for a loved one's birthday. Number 18, Impulse Upgrades. It's common to desire upgrades for things we don't really need. Dave Ramsey often talks about how people frequently buy unnecessary items, and it's true. We tend to upgrade items like phones, clothing, and even cars, even though our current ones are perfectly functional. If you want to break free from financial struggles, only consider upgrades when absolutely necessary. Let's move on to number 19, unnecessary storage units. If you find yourself needing a storage unit, consider this. You're likely shelling out nearly $100 every month to store items that you may never use again. In reality, you could potentially earn more by selling these items and bidding farewell to the storage unit. Why throw money away when you can make some and declutter your life? Now number 20, costly beauty treatments. Do you really need separate creams for your eyes, hands, face, and legs? This is just the beginning when it comes to beauty treatments, and they all have one thing in common. 
They come with a hefty price tag. You can certainly indulge in these treatments, but it's essential to be realistic about your spending. If you want to treat yourself, incorporate it into your budget sensibly. However, if you find yourself spending hundreds of dollars each month on creams and skincare, it might be worth reconsidering.